Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to hear more, and usually I can get this route down in between 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the amount of water that I find. Now I did change this route compared to one of my previous videos. I was finding that uh, with a little alteration I was able to farm or gather um, a couple more ore, and every little bit helps. So, what I do is I follow the edge, and if you're wondering what kind of add-on I have, I have an add-on called Mapster. It allows you to run the map on your screen at the same time, and you can you know, have it blend into the screen or fade away, uh, whatever you prefer. <clears throat> and I did start the timer. I don't think I'm going to be running a 15-minute video on YouTube. I think that's a little too long, but let's just see how much I can find. Holy crap. Nothing yet. So what do you guys think about patch 4.3 so far? I really haven't gotten into it. Um, I really don't play the game as heavily as I used to. I just jump on every now and then and try to make a little bit of gold. Um, I really like to do stuff in the auction house. Investing my gold to um, you know, make more gold. It's uh, a lot easier than sometimes farming. But knowing where to farm items at can help your guildmates or yourself level up any skills that uh, you're working on. <clears throat> I ended up uh, power leveling my DK in, uh, in mining in just like, I don't know, under a few hours of just uh, following some basic routes so it, it helps to know where you're going so the last check I did on the auction house Elementium ore was selling for about a hundred gold a stack which isn't bad I remember at one point of the game it was down to like 50 uh, that kinda sucked but I ended up stockpiling a bunch of it in my bank and selling it all for about 90 gold a stack. I undercut everybody just to get some quick sales. So what I normally do, as I said before, I follow the edge. Sometimes you'll find some pie right down here. And Oldham's pretty, pretty heavily farmed. It's I'm always seeing people run around farming the ore. But it amazes me that a lot of them don't have their epic mount speed. So a lot of times, pass them up. It's kind of funny. So in the in one of my older videos, I used to fly the edge. But right when you get about here, I actually cut over. Because you're not going to find... You might find one or two, or maybe, if it spawns. But for the most part, I come over here to the mountain and I do a quick circle around this here and I started doing this because of the amount of people farming for the elementium and this is kind of just is an area I really never see people fly around normally when I fly around this section here I can get about maybe one or three one or three or or nodes I guess so it's worth the uh, it's worth the extra 30 seconds to do a quick pass so on patch 4.3 there's this thing called void storage and I'm not really familiar with it and at first I thought it was like a limitless bag but obviously it's not um, you 
you have to pay to put stuff in it. I don't know if any of you are familiar with it. If you could leave some, you know, explanation in the comments, I guess. I, or I can just read the patch notes or try it. Alright, well shit. Looks like I'm not finding much ore. And when I make my video, guys, I'm, uh, I'm not filming and filming trying to, uh, fluff up my videos and trying to make it look like, uh, every time I do a pass or every time I do a round, I'm getting 60, 80 ore. Because that shit doesn't, it doesn't always happen that way. There's always people farming and it just, it doesn't happen like that. I see a lot of videos on YouTube where people are getting just ridiculous amounts of stuff on every video. And that's cool. I mean, I could do the same thing. I could just film and film and film and cut it together or wait and wait until I got something that's perfect. But really, what I'm trying to do is just show routes, viable routes you can do to farm for items in this game. And whether I get a hundred or zero, I'll still post the video. It doesn't matter to me. But this is honestly probably one of the worst passes I've had in a in a while. So how many of uh, you guys are going to be playing Star Wars? I know it, re it came out last night at midnight, I believe. And I have to go to the store and I need to pick up that game. Um, watched a little bit of uh, video footage on Swifty's channel. You know, learned a little bit about the uh, PvP that um, and how they rank you in PvP or scale the PvP. It's pretty interesting. How at level 10, when you go into PvP, you can go against people that are level 50. And it might scale the health, but doesn't scale the abilities. Could you imagine going in and trying to kill a level 50 with a tiny-ass dagger or whatever they use in that game? Shit. It's funny. Well, I'm 7 minutes into the pass. Or 7 minutes into my route. And I'm almost done. And granted, I didn't hardly get any Elementium on this pass. But I can assure you that if you just keep doing it over and over again, um, you're going you're gonna to definitely find ore. I normally will get about five stacks, sometimes six on an average on most passes here. But I think there's probably some people farming ahead of me. And when I run into situations like this, I will just either keep just keep doing it or log off and log in my tailor and play the auction house a little bit. I make a lot of money making nether weave bags. The nether weave bags will sell between 18 to 22 gold each. And I'm going to do a quick video on a little little trick, which most people probably know, but it's something that uh, I've been doing on the game. Selling those bags. Those bags sell like crazy, man. Seriously. I think I sell about 20 bags a day. And uh, I just, you know, keep making them. Alright, guys. Well, that was one... That was one pass, and that took about nine minutes. Normally, doing this route, following the edge and circling the centerpiece, will really honestly take you about 12 to 15 minutes, because normally I found a whole bunch of ore. Um, obviously, today, um, I didn't hardly get any ore. I probably got like six pieces. I got 13. Um, not very good, but... So how it is sometimes when you when you start farming. So anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching. Click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And until next time.